Dude, this is literally chaos right now. I'm literally in their spawn. Literally in their spawn, bro. These kids are spawning into me. Dude, what the fuck? Did you see forward again, bro? Did you guys just see what the fuck I just did? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another one of my YouTube videos. Today we're actually going to be talking about some tips and tricks on how to go on higher kill streaks in Modern Warfare. Uh, now we're going to be going around talking about from, you know, equipment, anything like that, uh, attachments, anything that you could basically use to go on higher kill streaks, uh, we're going to go over in this video. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, so for starters, honestly, if you ask me the most important thing uh, to use to actually go on high kill streaks in this game is honestly the silencer press uh silencer attachment now if you guys know me you've watched my videos in the past you know that i literally have a silencer on every single one of my guns here i have the lightweight suppressor for the pp19 uh on the mp5 i have the integrated uh subsonic barrel suppressor that's another silencer uh, on the Kilo, I have the tactical suppressor. So you guys know that I really, really like to use suppressors. Uh, and the main reason for that is because you guys know how the minimap is honestly pretty weird. So if you guys see somebody near you, you're not really going to tell who, uh, you know, exactly where they are. But just because of the way the minimap is designed. Now with the silencer, obviously it kind of makes you a little bit more quieter. And it doesn't ping you on the minimap when you shoot. Uh, so obvious reasons when you do kill somebody or when you shoot, uh, it's not going to show you... Or it's, act it's not going to show the other team where you are, which is the most important part because you obviously don't want them to know where you are. Uh, another thing is it actually helps you go on higher kill streaks because honestly, there's been situations where I've been in their spawn, watching them spawn. I kill them from the back. They have no idea where they're even dying from. Nobody even breaks their neck. Um, so starting number one, definitely you're going to want to use a silencer. Now, you just want to be careful with that actually because if you guys haven't noticed, uh, different types of silencers actually do different types of, uh, you know, like pros and cons so you have the lightweight suppressor this one actually does sound suppression and damage range this is one i actually do uh do use and then you have this one sound suppression plus damage range but you have the ads and the uh, aim walking steadiness is actually negative i don't like to use anything like that because i like to aim down the site as fast as possible uh just because i'm always near enemies and uh you know if you if you stay further back uh, this is obviously an SMG, so you're gonna want to kind of be close to people. You're not, you're not, you're not gonna want to be mapping people with this. Uh, so just keep that in mind. All right, guys. So for the next part, I actually this isn't too important because honestly, you could use whatever you'd like. Uh, but the lethal and tactical is actually pretty important uh, for what you're using, depending on your playstyle. Because you know you have the claymore, and please, please don't be one of those kids that just sits there and you know. They they put two down in shoot house and they just sit there with an LMG aim down the window with two claymores on both sides of the doors. Don't be that guy. Um, I use C4 and personally I don't even like having it on just because when I die by C4, bro, it's 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 the end of the world. Like I hate dying by stuff like this. Uh, if it's, by any explosives, honestly, just in general. Uh, but I do like to use C4 uh, just because it is a little bit easier to throw and uh, you know you're not really placing it down. Uh, if I know, like say if I'm, if I'm playing shoe house, for, for example, and I know that there's somebody on the other side of the head glitch, you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. The one where you see straight down a B-Dom, uh, if I see somebody there, I'll throw it, try and kill them. If anything, I can damage them and I popped a corner and, uh, and try and, uh, basically finish them off. Cause they're going to be weak unless they have EOD. Uh, so that's basically what I try and do. I do use C4. I don't like to use it. Uh, but it is honestly very helpful. I really don't recommend using Proximity Mine and Claymore, guys. Honestly, it just ruins the game. And it's just, it's I, I hate seeing people play with it, honestly. But, you know, at the end of the day, you can do whatever you want. You can play however you like. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Now, for the tactical, I use Stim 100% of the time. Uh, if you don't know what Stim is, it's actually a military stimulant that categorizes combat wounds and refreshes tactical sprints. So, basically, it's like a little uh, healing device that you guys poking to yourself it's a needle and i use this honestly because just the way i play i do play very aggressive and uh when i'm getting shot at by somebody i have to quickly heal my health especially if i'm on a, if I'm on a high kill streak 
uh, just because you know if some if there's somebody else that's gonna turn the corner, they can they're gonna easily kill me, especially after I just got into a gunfight with somebody else. So Stim is 100% my favorite. Uh, I haven't used NLC and honestly anything else other than that. Um, I actually have the one perk that I do keep two of them on, I believe. So it is a lot more useful at that point. Uh, but like I said, honestly, this is another thing where it is your choice. This is just my personal opinion on using Stim. Uh, because like I said, it is very useful after after you get into a gunfight. Not really before. It's just after you get in a gunfight. If you're going to go run around and kind of play really aggressive and headless like I do sometimes, which actually causes me to die, um, Stim is definitely going to save you. So I would recommend trying that. Alright guys, so next we actually have kill streaks. Now the kill streaks that you actually play with uh, kind of dictates the way that your playstyle is going to be. Uh, I honestly, I use the VTOL the support helo and advanced uav uh there's times where i switch the advanced uav for uh, just a regular uav or something else uh honestly i keep the advanced uav when i do want to go on higher kill streaks because uh personally i can easily get an a kill veto jet uh honestly it happens pretty fast and uh you know i don't really have to try too hard to actually try and get the streak and honestly once i get that two more kill streaks after that no three actually because this is 11 I get to support Hilo. I did have the chopper gun on before, but I honestly like the idea of having a support Hilo flying around by itself other than sitting in a chopper gunner. Personally, the chopper gunner definitely is a lot better because you could kind of aim and move and shoot rocket launchers wherever you want. Uh, but I personally like the support Hilo, like I just said, because it's, you can kind of just... You could have it flying around the air, killing the other team while you go around and hunt for the other kids. Uh, another reason, actually, because I found when I'm actually in the chopper gunner, you know, on the little tablet, I die almost like 75% of the time. So this kind of helps you avoid that. This way you could protect yourself or at least, you know, try and get more kills. Uh, advanced UAV. Oh, sorry, I was yawning. Uh, this is an, a 12 kill streak or 1500 score and uh, advanced UAV basically shows you the direction of the enemies on the minimap uh, It's pretty self-explanatory. I only really use this if I do want to try and go for a nuke because honestly It's the best thing that you could possibly use uh, You do kind of have to be a little bit careful with it because if you are playing a little bit back It's kind of gonna go to waste and your teammates are gonna end up killing everybody uh, so honestly my best opinion to try and do this is literally once you pop the advanced UAV, you have to play like a crazy maniac and start running around everywhere because you only have like what three minutes, two minutes to probably, you know, if you actually knowing where the team is and where they're actually looking. Uh, so you got to try and use that to your advantage as much as possible. But um, other than that, that's pretty much it for the score streaks, guys. Like I said, if you are going to use advanced UAV, you could switch it sometimes to a UAV depending. Uh, the UAV honestly does help you. Get the VTOL and then the, uh, the support healer or you could do VTOL, advanced UAV and UAV. You know, it's up to you guys. Uh, like I said, it kind of varies based on your uh, playing type. So that's it for the kill streaks. All right, guys. So honestly, probably the most second most important part um, for going on high kill streaks this game is having the right field upgrades. Now, my personal two favorites, like I said, it all depends on everybody's different types of play styles. My two favorite. Field upgrades is the uh, munitions box, and I use stopping power rounds. Now, the thing is, uh, ammo boxes, they do take a pretty long time <sighs> to actually load. And uh, for the that don't know what it is, it's, uh, it's an ammo box. You guys basically drop down, and uh, you pick up ammo and stuff like that. And uh, your teammates can even pick everything up. And then other than that, I use stopping power, which... Um, Basically, you get more damage in your gun, which I do like to use. Um, I do use them at separate times, so depending on the type of situation that I'm in, uh, the ammo box, say if I'm on like a 12, 13, 14 kill streak and I have obviously no ammo, uh, I'll pop it, get some ammo, and then I think it fills you up to almost max ammo. And then from there, once you pick up your ammo, you can obviously play a little bit more, less conservative actually, because you know, you just, you have enough ammo, so you don't have to worry about picking up another gun. And, uh... You know, you're not going to play as far back waiting for another uh, kill to actually come in where you could possibly get another gun. Now, for the stopping power rounds, I actually use this to help me get to my first initial streak. So, like I just showed you guys, I actually did have the VTOL uh, jet as a kill streak. Usually, if I'm around, like, say, on a six, five, six kill streak, somewhere low. Uh, because, honestly, the stopping power rounds does have a really long recharge rate. It's actually very slow. 
so it does take you a while to get it back once you do use it but like i said you know i just try and use that to basically work my way up to my other streaks because honestly with this in this game once you get these streaks they basically have you set for the rest of the game and then the thing is if you even die and your streaks are still in the air they're gonna just keep getting you points and you're gonna end up eventually getting your new streaks uh, so that's basically how that works. I mean, I've seen people use dead silence. I used to like that honestly very very much Because um, actually what I used to have was just dead silence and then at some point I had the ammo box and dead silence The only problem is it doesn't last too long and honestly you could still kind of hear them a little bit when they do use dead silence So I kind of just went for the stopping power rounds and I just play aggressive ball so wall every time I get it Well, that's all the tips I actually have for you guys. I hope you guys did enjoy if you guys are new to the channel please remember to hit that subscribe button guys it's been killing it lately 4,000 subscribers i guarantee you we're probably gonna be at by the end of next month uh maybe even sooner just you guys have been killing it so thank you very much uh 5, subscribers might actually be coming sooner or later but i am gonna be having a giveaway guys uh i didn't announce it yet officially but i'm gonna be giving away a razor gaming mouse it's literally brand new uh so you guys are gonna be able to stay tuned for that so like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video please remember to comment subscribe follow me on social media links down in the description below if you guys are new to the channel hit the subscribe button let me know what you guys think about my uh my my little tips if you guys use them if you guys use anything that i use let me know in the comment section let me know how it works out for you if you guys do something different let me know how you use it and why i might even make a video about it you never know so i'll see you guys on the next video peace out guys